I think sometimes people judge. They see my tattoos. They look at my hair and it's like, what the heck? Is she going to, you know, fix that an Elvis convention? <laughs> sometimes what people joke about. We're talking about rockabilly in the form of being a, a culture. It's certainly not a, a costume party. I grew up um, kind of a geeky kid, a bookworm, and I didn't, I think when you're a teenager, you're always trying to identify with who you are, what you want to be, what you want to be, have as a career. And for me, I was all over the place, involved in, in gangs and um, wearing my Ben Davis and, you know, all of that, the Chola style makeup and lipstick. But one thing that always stayed steady, like I said, being involved in gangs, you know, younger is the oldies the music, uh, the classic cars, you know, I always looked at um, a lot of the old pictures like the Cholos and Cholas in L L East LA, you know, and I liked the way the women's hair were done up and I liked their makeup. My girlfriend, Christina Powell, she worked with my sister Lindsay and I remember going to go see her at one of her burlesque shows and I fell in love immediately with her and the style and the music, but she was probably the first person I was gaga over and I said, I want to be like that. If you're going to identify with being a rockabilly, you, you live the lifestyle, um, you know the music. Huge, huge part, if I didn't say that already, music in the rockabilly scene is tremendous. Um, no question about it, being a rockabilly is, is a culture, it's a lifestyle, you know what I mean? Uh, you like hip hop, you learn to listen to hip hop and you're going to wear certain clothes and certain brands. Being a rockabilly, you know, people can say, oh, she's a pinup and she's rockabilly, but no. <laughs> Most pinups are uh, daily, you know, not a daily thing. They're, uh, they're girls who dress like that on the weekend and rockabilly is a true lifestyle. One thing about the rockabilly community in Salt Lake City is, you know, everybody knows everybody and, um, I think there is a very close-knit community amongst everybody, you know, because we see each other. We see each other when we go to the bars, we see each other when we go to the shows, we see each other when we go to the car shows, somebody's party. <laughs> um, so yeah, there's, there's a pretty close community and I think I've made well, lifetime friends. I mean, I'm nobody to tell you what is rockabilly and what's not, but I can tell you what it is for me. It's about, you know, my boyfriend being in a car club and sporting his 63 Impala, me riding down the street in my 55 Suburban with my hair done up and my lipstick on, being a rockabilly girl, you know, being out there with the guys at the car shows and talking cars. For me, it's been tremendous. I'm pretty proud of who I am and who I identify, of I, who I identify with. Do I think the rockabilly community is gonna keep growing? Yes and no. Um, I think right now it's in the upward swing of popularity. Uh, I think a lot of people, it's something new. Kids are like drawn to the tattoos, kids are drawn to the clothes and the cars and, and I think it is on an upward swing right now. But do I think it will last forever? Only the hardcore ones will last forever. Time.